Attention all my friends in Chicago, there is an awesome new book coming out, and the best part, it's free. I mean, to be clear, the book's even free even if you're not in Chicago but like there's gonna be a launch party in Chicago, so listen up, this is really cool. Hi everyone, I'm Savvy, and I'm here today to tell you about an awesome new book that is just coming out, and I'm so excited to share this with you. This book is called The Garcia Boy, and it is written by Raphael Torch. And this book has the coolest backstory. So this book is published by Big Shoulders Books, which is the university press at DePaul University, and part of their mission is that they want to give books out for free to people who want them. So you can't just be like, oh, I want to get a bulk order of these books for free just to have a ton of free books and try to sell them to people. No, that's not how it works. If you want to get one of these books for free, you can um, go to one of their events in person or go on the website and say like why you're interested in this book and then no matter what the reason they'll send it to you for free they just want to make sure that everybody who's getting this book is someone who actually wants to read it but if you want to read this book it's yours like that's what's what's up with this so i'm going to link in the description below to where you can get this book so just you can go online and just request a free copy of it and it'll be super awesome but let me tell you guys the story behind this book. This is the memoir of a man named Raphael Torch. He was a Chicago educator and he worked at this school that had like the coolest program. Kids go there and it's like a private school but you don't have to pay tuition. Instead they like partner with businesses in Chicago for students to work one day a week at that business and then the money that they would have made as an employee there goes to their tuition. So essentially it's like an internship program but also their tuition gets funded and also they all graduate high school with like professional job experience on their resume. It's just like such a cool idea. So he was an English teacher at this school and in 2004, one of the students at the school was murdered due to Chicago gang violence. So as a result, this teacher, Raphael Torch, began to see parallels between his own life and the student's life and how like he could have ended up in that type of position but didn't and like what happened and he started writing this memoir centered on that moment where the student is killed but everything around it kind of relates to his life relates to his life as a teacher his teaching philosophies all of that um very sadly Raphael actually died in 2011 because he had a rare form of cancer that um, he had been cured of in the past but actually came back and he wasn't able to live through it this time so it was very sad but um, he had published an essay in um, a journal that kind of talked about this same topic and had a lot of the same stuff in it as this book has. And a professor from DePaul found that essay and was like, oh my god, this is amazing. So he reached out to Raphael's wife and was like, hey, we should get his entire book that he's written published because he had written this memoir um, and had spent years working on it but never had gotten it published. and unfortunately died before he got to see his work come into the world. So I'm going to read you guys a couple quotes from this book that I think are super, super powerful, and I hope you enjoy it. You too will have one story that all the others will come from. You too will experience a tragedy that will give sense to that which was previously irrational. Oh my god, that quote. Like, that really hits you because that's kind of what the story's about, the idea that the story of seeing one of his students die Kind of sparked all of these other stories in his life and it all it all came together to center around that point it kind of put everything into context for him so this idea that like we all have tons of stories in our lives and sometimes there will be like one pivotal moment that shapes everything else and gives context to that which was previously irrational i think that's a really beautiful sentiment the garcia boy is an urban myth now one of those sad stories to add to the repertoire of sad American communities at the edge of the 21st century. I like this concept a lot of like, there are tons of stories of tons of people out there and sometimes we don't want someone to become lost to being just another story about just another person. And I think that's kind of the core of what this book is getting at, that this student could have just been another sad story. But he says, no, this is indicative of a larger societal meaning. It's indicative of how it ties into my life. Everybody can relate to this and like let's make the story into something even bigger and try to explain it for what it is. This is a quote from the afterword of the book that his wife wrote and um, some of this is just like incredibly emotional. 
he had always written as a way to understand people, to understand the world, and now, I think, to try to make sense of his life. The Garcia boy, the great work of his life, was his constant companion for many years. And then later she says, bringing this book to life allows Raphael to once again have a voice. And I think that's what this project and getting this book out there is really about, is saying, you know, he was taken from this world too early, and he, I mean, both Raphael and the boy that the story centers on were both, they, the world lost both of them too young, and the story allows Raphael's voice and his writing to live on, and allows the story of the Garcia boy who was killed in gang violence to show what we can learn from that. So. Honestly, I just think this book is incredible. If you are in Chicago, the launch party for this book is going to be Thursday, March 14th. I will link to the Facebook event for it in the description below. There's going to be food there. There's going to be a lot of cool stuff that you guys can take part in and everything's free to attend. So be on the lookout for that. Um, if you're not in Chicago, but you're still interested in reading this book, I will also leave the link to where you can request a copy of it in the description below, and just get yourself a free copy and enjoy this book, and learn a little bit about Chicago and its history, and learn about a really remarkable man whose writing deserves to live on in the world. Let me know what you guys think of this book and of this whole project in the comments below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. If you're new here, please remember to subscribe to this channel. Please also check out the description below where I have my social media links. You can follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. If you're interested in me as a writer, there's also a link to Sculpt Yourself, my novel, in the description below. And for the kids and the dogs in your life, there is a link to my Forever Home Friends kids book series. As always, 10% of profits benefit animal shelters. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys again soon. Bye!